Me? I'm like, hello, mum. Oh, yeah. Oh, you need to, you want me to take you to the surgery real quick? I'll be like, oh, sorry. I, I need to go right now. The mother needs to get to the surgery. Boom, I'm gone. What's going on everyone? Welcome to Nicewell TV. Today we have another great show for you. This show is going to be all about people being natural and embracing natural beauty. Okay, I repeat, natural beauty. I'm going to let you know right now, I'm not embracing this type of natural beauty you're about to see. But I know there's people out there who will embrace it. But you know what? Let's not talk too much. Let's just watch and analyse people's natural beauty. Beauty, in the comments, I want you to let me know how you think mm -hmm. and your thoughts on natural beauty. Because, whoo, when I saw this, I'm like, <laughs> I don't want to be involved. That's all I'm saying. But you know what? Let's not say too much. Let's get into it. My name is Esther, and I think my chest hair is beautiful. I was very hairy, like, growing up. Uh, but because I was shaving a lot, I got even more body hair. I used to hate my chest hair, but now I want to embrace it. Oh my gosh, <laughs> dear Jesus, dear Jesus. Okay, okay, I'm gonna be straight up now. This girl looks like a very lovely lady. Looks like she has an absolute blossoming personality. But, and I repeat, but, I can't handle this hair. I'm very sorry. I don't care how nice your personality is, how much of a great humanitarian you are, this hair is a bit crazy. Honestly, I know people want to embrace this look, but wow, she had a lot of hair. I don't know. Like, there's like, why don't you just get rid of it? Doesn't your body feel better without all this hair? But hmm. you know, everyone's different. But for me, I ain't rocking with this hair like this. This hair's a bit too much. But you know what? I'm not even gonna judge her. She's probably a phenomenal individual. Let's keep on watching about this girl, and I want to know her journey and why. She likes all this hair because <laughs> I don't like it, but still, who cares? Let's see. This is Esther. I'm also known as Queen Essie. I'm 26 years old from Montreal. And I'm a body hair activist and an artist. Mm -hmm. My mission is to normalize female body hair through everything that I do. So through self photography, in my paintings, and really in everything. <laughs> okay, so she's a body hair activist. I get it. I get it. Okay. All right, I have to say, Esther, your hair is cool. Honestly, when I'm seeing your hair, like your actual physical hair on your head, by the way, not this hair, the hair on your head, you look really cool, man. Like I like your style, your style's popping. I see your artwork as well, artwork's very cool. But um, to embrace this type of hair, I do know for a fact there's gonna be a large percentage of men who's not gonna like this. I don't know the exact percentage, but I know a very large percentage, but I'm very sure She's not probably thinking about that. She's just on her own personal journey, her own life goal, which is to embrace her hair and her natural beauty. But there is a lot of people in this world who are like this. You know, they don't give a crap about others' opinions and how people see them. They're really just on the journey of their own world and what they want to accomplish. And I, I think this girl is very strong. She's very bold as well to have like a whole social media posting this and embracing this. You know what? Ratings to this girl. I'm giving her ratings, but let's keep going. Of my father, I started really showing my chest hair, like letting it be seen, probably in 2019. And so ever since then, like I started buying V-neck tops where I could go outside, or, or even dresses, skirts, and not being afraid that people might see my body. You know what, man? I'll give this girl ratings, absolute ratings. She's embracing it with the V-neck top. She's showing everyone. <laughs> she will blow up, 100%. She will blow. You know why? Because she has a look, beautiful girl. Very beautiful hair on her head, not hair on her body. And obviously she's got this, she just had this show this chest hair. But um, one thing I know for a fact, if I saw it in real life, I'll be very proud to meet her. I'll be like, you know, I'm very proud of your journey. But I'm thinking, wow, from an intimacy type of point now, mm. let's say I'm about to get jiggy, jiggy, boom, 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 boom with a woman and she's whipping out all this hair on me. I'll be like, whew, game, set, match. I ain't doing this because this hair, this is too much for me. 
Like me, I'm a type of person, I like to keep nice and shaved, everything feeling smooth like a baby's booty. But if someone is coming out of all this hair, I couldn't work with it personally. I'll personally, I'll just be like, you know what? I got some, some cream you can put on or we'll get rid of the hair and you'll feel a lot better. But if you're a hair activist, mm-hmm. I know you ain't going to listen to somebody like me. But still, it's a very good journey. It's a very good journey. But you know what? Let's take a look at yeah. Esther's life even deeper. I want to see how others see this hair on her. Hi, I'm Giovanni. I'm 24. I live in Montreal and I am studying theatre. I like women who are funny, who take care of their appearance. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling confident. Salut. Enchanté. Enchanté. Okay, okay. One thing I need to say straight up, <laughs> I think they're not <laughs> each other. Like, looking at him, he's got a very nice deep voice. He sounds very... <laughs> You know, that real gorilla sort of voice, but his voice don't really match his appearance. You know what I mean? Like, he looks more like the the calm, cool type of guy, you know? I can't really think of any other description for him, to be honest. But yeah, he just seems more like a, more of a calm person. But to be honest, they match each other. He kind of does look like that type of man who might accept her, you know what I mean? Like, she could drop on him straight. Boom, I'm a hair activist. Woo! Chest come out. Bushy hair everywhere, looking like Tarzan. He gonna be like, you know what? I love you, baby. You're beautiful. I love it, baby. I don't mind. I'll massage your chest hair. I love it. You know what I mean? Like, you can just tell he looks like them type of hmm. men. But don't be coming to me with that. No way. <laughs> Jehovah Witness it ain't happening. No way. But I want to see how it goes in a relationship because if they're dating and he accepts this, <laughs> like they always say, there's always someone out there for somebody. So, it's actually true. Let's take a look. Excuse me, I'm just gonna go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Sure, yeah. Yeah, it's going well. He's really nice. I, I like the mustache, so <laughs> it's going really well. It's really flowing. Plus, because like he's an actor, so it's kind of like an artist as well. So it's nice. <laughs> I don't think the body hair, you know, and my activism is a problem for him. He seemed very open and um, knowledgeable. So, <laughs> and I'm back. <laughs> That's actually crazy. Like, she's actually on a date. She's rocking a V-neck to show the hair. And he ain't said nothing. Like, he's all cool with it. Like, he's really fine with it. You know what? That's a cool dude. Honestly, a dude like that. If you're on a date with someone you never met, a blind date, and they pulling up in a V-neck, and you're seeing they got more chest than you have on your actual face, or your beard, and what? Ooh, you got to be a very cool man to be like, oh, that's nice, babe. I like it. You're turning me on right now. Because if that's me... I'm like, hello, mum. Oh, yeah. Oh, you need to, you want me to take you to the surgery real quick? I'll be like, oh, sorry. I, I need to go right now. The mother needs to get to the surgery. <laughs> Boom, I'm gone. I'm not staying there if I'm seeing someone looking like that. No way. In hell. Hell no. Ain't happening. But you know what? For other people, they got different standards. But they match each other. They, they match each other. Like, even his beard, you know, he looks like a different yeah he's a cool man I'm, I'm happy for her i'm happy for her most definitely that she's got someone who likes that sort of style you know what i mean so he can rub her hair at night he can lick her chest hair whatever kinky hairy stuff they want to do they can do it but let's keep on going activist and you know I, i've been hairy since like i was really young like probably like 11 that's when i kind of like first noticed that i had like a lot of body hair and then i decided to embrace it like when I got to like university, like it took me a while. I started working like on my self-confidence and what do you think about that? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a very like inspiring journey that you've had. And I like the fact that you have more people who basically promote body positivity. I think it's a wonderful thing. Okay, that's nice to hear. Do you have like any insecurities of your own? Or did you once have uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest, he looks very socially awkward. You know what I mean? Like, he looks like them, them social awkward type of men. Like when it comes to interaction, he'll be like, um, M, R, yes, no. Like, you know what I mean? Them very awkward type of people. But 
I'm not going to lie, they match each other. Like, she's a bit different, obviously being a hair activist, got more hair than Tarzan, and then he's just a bit socially awkward, doesn't seem like a very free-flowing man, but he seems like a cool, accepting man. And I think that's what it's always about. It's always about finding the right person for you, regardless. Like, you know when people always think that there's um, no one in the world for them? That's not true. There's billions of people in this world and there's always going to be someone who would accept you for what you believe in, what you think and the way you act. If you're a hairy female, you're going to have men out there who love that hairiness. Then you're going to have men out there like me who don't like that hairy crap. So don't ever come to me with that crap. But with these people, they like that. But you know what, people? That's my opinions on that video. I wish Esther the best. I wish her the best in her career and her actual journey. And I hope they have a fruitful, amazing relationship together. But guys... In the comments, put your opinions on what you think of this. Would you accept a hairy woman or would you accept a overly hairy man? If you're a female, you want to comment. But um, yeah, definitely, guys. Make sure to tune in next week. But this video was absolutely excellent. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and always share everything on Nice World TV, okay? But all I'm saying is, guys, I'm out and I will see you next week. Catch you later.